Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. I've received a package from Sindon Technology. I wonder what's inside. Let's open it up and take a look. Oh, well, what do you know? It's a Sindon Arcade foot pedal. Let's get rid of that. A nice box. Let's just... Uh, Let's just uh, break the seal on this. Here we go. So, send an arcade foot pedal. Pedal functions as a USB keyboard and pedal press triggers a keyboard C. Further functionality and configuration available with a pedal tool download from synthetechnology.com under software. Great, so this is the arcade foot pedal uh, to accompany the Sindon light gun. The, as the uh, information explains, the the trigger defaults to sending a keyboard C press uh, and it can be customized in the software but the keyboard C press is good enough for me All right, let's check out what's inside now the packaging is definitely far superior to the uh, packaging that was in the light gun and here it is my goodness that is huge I knew it was big but yeah Excellent. So this has been modelled after the Time Crisis arcade pedal to replicate that. It's got a bit of weight to it. Nice. Nice bit of weight. Definitely, definitely quality construction. So, let's have a look underneath. Four feet, four rubber feet, stop it from slipping. Looks like we have a few screws at the front here with uh, uh, hex bits, rounded hex screws. There might be some more under the feet, but who knows. And again on the top, more screws. And let's just center that in the camera. nice clunk that is good stuff I'm really excited to try this out and this looks like a pretty long cable now as I understand it it's nearly five meters long and that's probably is a five meter cable but with the uh, the internal um, you know, some of it has to be internal as well so you lose a little bit of external length to that now five meters as I understand it is pretty much the maximum that you can have USB due to attenuation. It might be possible, but it's certainly not reliable. That is definitely a long cable. Yeah, definitely at least four meters. All right, I'm pretty eager to try this out. So I'm gonna get my Raspberry Pi ready and uh, we'll see how it plays in Time Crisis and others. Be right back. So before I just jump into a game, I want to add the instruction to use the pedal into the RetroArch config file so that when I press the pedal, it does what I want it to do. There are only a few games that I'm going to want to use the pedal with, most of which are PlayStation games, and also one arcade game. So what I'm going to do is add the instructions to the config for PlayStation only so it covers all PlayStation games and no other games. And I'll deal with the arcade game separately later. So I'm in the folder opt RetroPie Configs PSX as you can see and I have RetroArch Config here and if I open it up I can see my PlayStation specific overrides. So I'm just going to add a little bit here just a comment to say pedal key C just so I know what it is and I want it to behave as if I press the guns OGS A button because that's what the pedal button is set for on Time Crisis, Project Titan, Jesse James, and possibly even Extreme Ghostbusters. I think it might cover that as well. They're the games that would generally use the pedal. So the instruction is input player one gun ogs A. And because it's a keyboard key, it ends there. If it was a mouse button, I'd add underscore MBTN, 
on the end as well but that's not necessary here so I'll just leave it there and finally equals C just make sure you put the space in the right place and add the quotes otherwise it won't work all right now that looks all right to me so I'm just gonna save that and that's it now to head on over to the Pi okay so now we're ready to test the pedal out got my trusty light gun here we go let's load up time crisis Go. Seems to work great. Respond really well. Okay, to this door and then. try out another game time crisis project Titan very similar game very different at the same time now it says I can use A and B to select difficulty pressing the pedal changes the difficulty because it is but an A of the gun so yeah let's keep it easy because I'm a lightweight and trigger Pedal or the buttons on the gun. Okay. Try something else. Now let's try Gunfighter, The Legend of Jesse James. Now this uses a different emulator because it doesn't actually work in PCSX rearmed on the Raspberry Pi. I don't know if it works in Windows, but it works in DuckStation, so we're going to use DuckStation. Now my setting that I put in the RetroArch config should apply to DuckStation as well because it is for all. PlayStation uh, emulators. So, uh, and as far as I remember, this game uses exactly the same control scheme as Time Crisis. So this should work. Trigger to play the game.
I think it's safe to say that it works well in Gunfire to the Legend of Jesse James. So let's back out of this and we'll try one more PlayStation game. Right, now let's try a game of Extreme Ghostbusters. Now this game wasn't really designed with a pedal in mind, but it uses a similar cover mechanic as Time Crisis does. So uh, I'm interested to see how it will work out. In Time Crisis you press the pedal to go out of cover to shoot, and release the pedal to go into cover and reload. But in Ghostbusters, it's the opposite. You uh, press the pedal to go into cover and reload, and release the pedal to come out of cover and shoot. So, it's not quite the same, but I'm interested to see how it will work out. Uh, let's give it a shot. So I can press the pedal, like in uh, the other time price game, to uh, cycle through the options. And... Game. I want a quick game. New York streets. Uh, let's just go with Kylie. Okay, here we go. So I'm out of cover, I can shoot. Pedal to reload. Well, I just think it's safe to say that that actually works. It didn't do any great game, so I'm only going to waste any time on it. Right. Now that I'm satisfied that that works, I'm going to try a different game altogether, a not PlayStation game, an arcade game using Ming. So Space Gun. In the arcade, Space Gun uh, uses a pedal to take a back step, if you like. So you would, you would be your character, your screen character, would be walking through the corridors of the spaceship or the space station or whatever it is, and like if you then get confronted by a alien, you could press the pedal to then kind of step back to give yourself more time to shoot the alien. So uh, I need to do a little bit of setup first. So I've got my keyboard in hand, press tab, input this machine and what I have set up already as uh, you should be able to see uh, is that I have Button one, button two, and button three, and I believe, I believe it's button three that is the back step. Where is it? Button? Yeah, it's definitely button three. Okay. On to a pen. So let's add this. Here we go. It's added C as a, an option to do the back step. So now let's get out of that and let's start again. Coin in. Here we go. Now. Yeah, pressing the pedal makes me go backwards. So this is working out just fine. I don't really know what the benefit is of doing that back step, but <clears throat> I'm really pleased that the panel seems to be working as expected. So there you go, I hope you like that little insight into the Sindan Arcade pedal. Uh, I'm very happy with it.
you decide to get one, I'm sure you will be too. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.